Hey hey, Ray here, back at it again with an Edison Spotlight. Today we are going to be covering uh, Relinquished Quickdraw, which is a bit of a weird deck that started to see, I wouldn't say it's seen any uh, real competitive play, but people are seriously starting to look into and theorycraft this deck and see what can be done with it. Uh, at first this deck might seem like a bit of a strange mishmash of two engines, um, which at first when people were first trying to make this deck and uh, didn't really understand the synergies well, it kind of was. But I feel like it's at a point where the communities um, put this deck to a point where it's kind of playable. Now, I will admit, uh, this deck is pretty heavily carried by the Quick Draw engine. Uh, this is partially just because uh, Quick Draw uh, Dandy Warrior is a great deck on its own. Uh, even in 2010, they, people began to realize that was an amazing engine. And uh, with the modern knowledge we have now, uh, we've realized you could probably run it with um, another sub-engine that synergized with uh, obviously the Dandelion tokens that were produced, uh, as long as it's a sufficiently small and consistent engine so that it doesn't clash uh, with your synchro players. And people found out that Relinquished, of all things, uh, by being a uh, ritual was a uh, engine that could be run. Uh, this is basically just thanks to preparation of rights. Uh, preparation of rights being printed, uh, it cannot be understated how big of an impact this had on uh, just the viability of rituals as a whole. Uh, like, um, Demise or TK uh, would not have been a deck without preparation of rights. Uh, the ability to just search uh, your boss monster and potentially also the ritual spell, not only does it add consistency, but it allows you to potentially fire multiple ritual monsters within a game, where in older formats, even slower ones, sometimes that was pretty difficult, because rituals, by nature, you need the monster, the spell, and a tribute. Now, the quick draw engine, by using cards like Dandelion, those are natural tribute fodder, right? We don't mind losing Dandelions, because if we tribute a Dandelion, we get the fluff tokens, or we can tribute the fluff tokens themselves, because although uh, fluff tokens need to wait a turn, uh, for a tribute summon off Dandelion when it's sent to the grave, uh, the fluff tokens do not need it to wait a turn to be tributed for any other purpose, such as, um, uh, in this case, a ritual summon. Um, most of this deck is pretty standard for a quick draw deck, so if you're familiar with the plays you make in that deck and the reasons why you run the cards you do, uh, a lot of the logic is the same here. Um, we, we run two battle faders here, this is kind of a flex spot. There's a few ways to go about building this list. Um, I've just decided that two battle faders here is probably fine. Caius is nice because if we end up with rogue fluff tokens, uh, Caius is a very good tribute summon to make use of those. Uh, Card Trooper is a very solid stable in this format. It's essentially a 1900 normal summon that mills a bunch. Um, ideally, off of our mills we want to hit Dandelions. If not, even Rykor isn't awful since we can special summon it off uh, Debris Dragon, although I don't really think there are uh, there's uh, no level 6 dragons except Iron Chain. So, but hey, it's still an interaction. Uh, we play Gauze and Trigoria because often, like, if we've played through our hand and or if we've just made a Drill Warrior and banished it, we'll have an empty field, so we will actually be able to take advantage of Gauze. Um, we play three Manju because it searches our ritual spell and our ritual monster. We will more often be using this to search the ritual spell because we essentially have six copies of Relinquished because we have three Relinquished and Preparation of Rites will always search Relinquished. Uh, it, because it will only add Black Illusion Ritual if it's already in the grave. Now, because we're running uh, Card Trooper and three Raiko, the chance of us milling uh, a ritual spell is actually fairly high, so that's an important thing to keep in mind. Uh, Plague Spreader Zombie, again, this is a bit of a tech choice. Some people run this, some people don't. Um, it's just another nice thing to mill. Uh, it's another nice thing to discard, so it, it goes well with Quick Draw Synchron. Some people might choose to cut a few of these cards and run three Volcanic Shell. Again, a lot of this deck is up to you and how you want to build it. Uh, Sangan is nice. It searches a lot of your cards. Uh, it can search everything from a Relinquished. It searches Quick Draw. It searches Rykor. Uh, there's no reason to not really run it, especially since you can normal summon a Sangan and then tribute it for a Relinquished to get a search, which can kind of help balance out potentially going negative off of a Ritual Summon. 
Uh, Trigodia is just another nice free body on uh, potentially, and if you brick, which you sometimes do in a ritual deck because of the setup necessary, um, it's nice to hold off for a few turns. I've had that come up. Allure of Darkness is also a good tool for bricking hands. We play a lot of darks in this deck, so we can uh, justify running it. Uh, we run Double Book of Moon. Uh, Book of Moon is a nice utility card. Not only is it potential disruption for our opponents, but it lets us protect and reuse Relinquish. Now, for those of you who don't know how uh, Relinquish works, uh, once per turn you can equip it an opponent's monster. It gains attack equal to that monster, or zero attack if it is a um, defense position monster. While it's equipped, if it were to die by battle, instead the equipped monster is destroyed and both players take the battle damage from that battle. Um, now, because it's an equip, it's technically kind of an equip spell when it's uh, equipped or relinquished, if it is fipped face down with Book of Moon, it is unequipped and sent to the graveyard. So, if it is the turn after relinquished was summoned, you can Book of Moon to essentially use it twice. You can also use Book of Moon to protect your relinquished, because obviously if you attack into something like a, a deep prison, and you have a way to make sure that relinquished will make it to the next turn, it's probably a good idea to uh, chain Book of Moon. Brain Control is nice because we do a fair amount of tributing in this deck, so even if we aren't using it to make aggressive players, um, sometimes we will just want it as a way to out things by tributing them. Charge of the Light Brigade is, is great. It mills without using our normal summons, so it can provide us immediate graveyard setup for something like a Debris Dragon, or it can send a Dandelion. Uh, Foolish Burial, again, graveyard setup, we can send a Dandelion to immediately get some fluff tokens to get our uh, uh, tribute engine going. Uh, there's no reason not to run this. We run uh, staples in the form of Heavy Storm and Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, we don't run any traps in this deck, so some people argue you should run two Royal Decree in the main deck instead. I personally prefer it in the side deck, but uh, again, that's a thing that's up to personal preference. Uh, because we're milling a lot in this deck and we will be filling up the graveyard with all of our tributing and our special summoning, um, we will be running two Avarice. Uh, you don't want three Avarice because it does tend to stick as a bit of a brick in your, uh, in your hand if you cannot uh, mill enough or get enough monsters in the grave in order to activate it. But if it does resolve, it genuinely gives you such an ad advantage and a push in the game that it practically wins you the game on the spot. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, in terms of typical players in this deck, you sometimes you open hands that are just quick draw, uh, Dandy Warrior style hands, like the same type of hands you'd see in that deck. You discard a Dandy Line, you special summon quick draw Synchron, you make a Drill Warrior, you activate its effect to banish it so you can get back the Dandy Lion. Um, yeah, it's all pretty regular. Uh, same goes for the extra deck. Uh, Chimeratech Fortress Dragon. Uh, for when you're going second against machines, which you also run two Cyber Dragons in the side deck for that. Uh, Katasta's great generic level 5, Ancient Fairy Dragon and Black Rose are Debris Dragon targets. Drill Warrior is what we almost always want to go into with Quick Draw. Iron Chain Dragon is what you go into if you Debris Dragon into Raikou. Um, <laughs> okay, the Junk Warrior is here because... I can't afford Junk Archer, but you should probably be running Junk Archer in this spot. Uh, Nitro Warrior can help you with uh, OTKs if you go into it, and also gives you another option for uh, Quick Draw Synchron to go into. RDA is a solid generic staple, and so is Status Dragon. And also, some people uh, run Turbo Warrior as well, because it is a thing you can go into and it occasionally goes, uh, comes up. Now, that being said, let's go into some test hands, but keep in mind, again, if you're already relatively familiar, with how um, quick draw decks work. This is essentially just that, but if your opponent has a threat on the field, you have an in-deck way to out it via Relinquished. However, it's not always the correct play to just shotgun the Relinquished. Sometimes it's better to wait a little bit and let your opponent make a play so that you can punish them with the Relinquished. Because a lot of people, when they see you make some quick draw plays, they won't ex be expecting you to play be playing Relinquished in this deck. So it's it's kind of a, it's one of the main tricks of the deck. But, you know, once your opponents see it, they'll they'll know to play around it. But, you know, they're going to have to play eventually. And if you can stall them out long enough that you can make your own advances and out-tempo them, you can win the game. Now, as always, let's go for some test hands. Uh, Stunned by main phase, let's draw for time. And uh, let's see what we're working with here. Alright, this isn't too bad. It's a bit strange, though. 
Uh, now, it's pretty obvious the main play here is to just get a relinquished on the field. We have a brain control, so assuming we're going second, uh, we can take whatever our opponent has and tribute that if we really want to, but that is going a, playing a bit too hard in a way. We could also take what they have and tribute for a Caius. I feel like that would probably be a better turn one player here. See, that's the thing with this deck. This deck is relatively complex. There are a lot of lines of play you can make, and what the correct one is does depend on what your opponent is playing. But, you know, when in doubt, normal summon Manju is rarely the wrong thing to do. Um, yeah, Manju's kind of just, just a really powerful card. Um, a lot of people underestimate it, but there's a lot of things about it that just make it good. It's under the bottomless threshold, so it can't be bottomless. Um, its effect lets you search essentially anything and set up plays for whatever you want to do next. Uh, it's a nice level, it's level 4, which happens to be useful for a lot of things like Synchro Summoning. Uh, and on top of that, it's Light Attribute, which is, you know, one of the two for Chaos, which is always useful. So here I could potentially Black Delusion Ritual. Now if I was tributing from my hand, it would make the most sense, I feel, to get rid of Caius here, because he's not really doing anything. So at this point, Summon Relinquished, and then I would pass, basically. Uh, this isn't a deck that always opens with really explosive players, but I'd say it's a deck that's very good at doing um, the one thing like that it was designed to do, which is uh, to make Synchro players and get out, uh, uh, to get out Relinquished. Um, so here I'd say Normal Card Trooper. Uh, what we're trying to do here is... Um, Hop to mill a uh, Black Illusion Ritual. Oh, okay, we milled a Dandelion. That is equally as good. Um, so here we get two Fluff Tokens. Then we could essentially Black Illusion Ritual for free using one of the tokens. Ooh, see, now the thing is we could have went for a Quick Draw play instead. So it depends on what our opponent has. Thinking about it, it probably is better to go for the Quick Draw play here, but... Hmm. Now... <laughs> If I wanted to be really greedy, this is where you preparation of rights to add back the Black Illusion Ritual, add a Relinquished to hand, and then you discard the Relinquished for a Quick Draw. Because it is a monster, you can do that. Then Synchro for 6. And since you plus 1 off that preparation of rights, oh yeah. This is, this is a crazy play. Um, yeah, this is why people have started to call this a real deck. Because sometimes you just do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, this is a very explosive deck and uh, it feels a lot more like a more modern deck. It feels a bit ahead of its time with some of the plays you can make. But saying that equally, sometimes you just open nothing. <laughs> Uh, like, you, there isn't a real clear play. Uh, Foolish Burial is always nice if you have a quick draw in hand. Uh, the discard's a little painful here. I mean, mm, see, Foolish Burial, I think the send here, like, no brainer, is a dandelion. Uh, because f fluff tokens. If you can get out Drill Warrior straight away, you do want to get them out, like, as fast as possible. Uh, purely because once you have a Drill Warrior in circulation, uh, you can basically uh, infinitely reuse your cards. And you can use Preparation of Rights as literally a discard outlet if it comes to that. Um, now, I could... If I wanted to metagame myself here, I could uh, Normal Manju use its effect to add uh, a Relinquished as discard fodder, which is, again, one of the benefits of this deck. You can see your Ritual Engine. Uh, uh, you don't always have to use it as a Ritual Engine. Sometimes you do just use it as discard fodder because, again, Preparation of Rites, if you have a spell in Grave, is just a strict plus one, uh, which is, is great. <laughs> I could add another Relinquished here if I really wanted to, but I have no reason right now, so... Um, so I could discard Relinquished, Special Quick Draw, and then I could go into a Drill Warrior. I could discard another Relinquished for the Drill Warrior, get that into circulation, add back the Dandelion, or add back the Quick Draw, 
and I could start going from there. Assuming this then heads to my grave, we're close to hitting Avarice, and we can go off. Um, of the decks I've covered on this channel for, so far, I'd say this is the most um, powerful, I'd say. This deck is relatively consistent, uh, it's relatively powerful, uh, it can make big synchro plays, it's pretty adaptive, because you can play defensively, you can just set right or pass, um, or you can play it a lot more proactively, you can summon out big threats and start attacking your opponent. Um, I wouldn't say this is something I'd ever consider playing seriously competitive, like I wouldn't take this to a tournament, but if you're just playing an Edison Locals, you know you might be up against um, pretty typical decks or historical deck lists. This really isn't that bad, especially uh, after side decking, because uh, in Edison format, there are a lot of decks that hard lose to the side deck. Uh, one thing I probably should have mentioned in the uh, deck profile itself, actually, was that we run three Dust Tornado and two Royal Decree in the side deck. That is because there is no beating around the bush here. This deck hard loses to stun decks and hard loses to Royal Oppression. Uh, those are cards we need in the side deck as essentially five ways to out it. Now, besides that one weakness, we do pretty okay against a lot of a lot of decks because again, we can kind of ride the deck on the back of the quick draw um, engine, uh, and the fact that uh, you can gain so much advantage off of, off the ritual engine. Uh, but yeah, I hope this uh, deck testing has given you a, a good idea of how this deck functions, what it can do, and the potential that I genuinely believe it has. Hope you guys have a great day.